Chinese construction workers are pouring the cement on what will be the roof of perhaps the largest stormwater cistern in L.A. County. This facility is known as the Panmar Water Quality Improvement Project, a joint effort by the cities of Los Angeles and Santa Monica. It's being built in response to the Clean Water Act requirements for protecting the ocean waters of the Santa Monica Bay, a body of water, officials say, that has been plagued with high bacterial counts and other pollutants like trash, heavy metals and organic compounds for years because of stormwater runoff. This new facility will address that issue by diverting and cleaning the rainwater for eventual non-potable irrigation uses. Number one, it reduces the amount of stormwater runoff that comes from our city and gets discharged in Santa Monica Bay. Instead, what this project does, it collects the runoff from our city and stores it in this uh, tank and slowly releases it into the sanitary sewer system, which will be treated at the Hyperion Treatment Plant in Los Angeles, as opposed to taking the runoff from our streets and discharging it into the ocean, where it will result in high bacterial uh, concentrations. The Panmar project is one of several projects jointly funded by Santa Monica's Measure V and Los Angeles's Proposition O. The $14 million project will be located underground at Rose Avenue, just north of Panmar Boulevard in Venice. It's a massive construction project. It's 20 foot tall. It's 180 feet in diameter. We had to excavate some 25,000 yards of soil, approximately pouring back 3,000 yards of concrete. The walls are one foot thick. The roof will be about a foot and a half thick. The bottom of the tank is two and a half foot thick. We have 52 columns. Okay, we're gonna have 52 of those columns that are gonna support the roof. Right. And the soil and the baseball diamond and field above. Pollutants will be removed from the stormwater in two phases. First, litter and debris will be collected from the Rose Avenue storm drain and removed here. From there, the water will be stored in the cistern and eventually pumped to the sewer for final treatment at the Hyperion treatment plant. Phase two of the project will see the installation of a disinfection treatment system on site where the water will be used for landscape irrigation for the Marine Park and Penmar Golf Course. This process will keep nearly 3 million gallons of untreated stormwater from reaching Santa Monica Bay. People don't realize how much rainwater actually falls here if we were to collect it. I mean, uh, Andy Lipkus of Tree People has estimated in the city of LA, if they were to collect and use all the rainwater that falls, that could be about half the water supply of the city of LA. So and then, you know, if we do that in Santa Monica, you know, again, that, and that helps us get towards our goal that city council passes by 2020 that our city will be self-reliant on local water supplies. The stormwater harvesting facility is made possible through a partnership between the city of Santa Monica and the city of LA, working together to keep our water clean. Now we need the residents to also do their part. It's important to always recycle as much as you can, always put your trash in trash cans, recycle your used oil, pick up after your pets, each one of us has the power to make a difference. And you might think, I'm only one person, but there are 10 million of us living here in Los Angeles. And when everybody does their part to keep their communities clean, that then translates into cleaner water and cleaner beaches and a cleaner Santa Monica Bay. Amaro says that the city of LA has already been working with various environmental groups, such as Heal the Bay and Tree People, and local businesses to comply with water regulations by implementing a local low-impact development ordinance. The principles of the low-impact development ordinance, which is basically requiring now for new development to capture the first three-quarter inch of any rain event and using that water either on site, those principles is what you're seeing with this larger project here. It's the idea that Keeping rainwater on site and capturing it, either infiltrating it back into the groundwater or using it for irrigation purposes, that is what we in the city of Los Angeles are really encouraging businesses and residents to do. And if everyone does their part, Santa Monica's waters and surrounding areas will be a safer and healthier place for both beachgoers and marine life alike.